G'day everyone, hopefully it won't drop out again and I just tried a minute ago and it dropped out. Uh, just showing you the gear that I'm getting ready to take today's wedding. It is going to be incredibly hot today. It's going to be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit I think, so hopefully <laughs> the cameras aren't going to overheat. Um, but I am only doing stills today, so that should be one good thing. So what am I taking gear-wise today? So I've got, you can see here, it's the A6400. Hey Eli. Uh, I've got the A7R2. Um, I've also got the a7 III and I've got the a9. Uh, I mean the lenses I'm starting out with at the beginning are, you can see here that on the a9 I'm using the 35mm 1.4. On the a7 III I've got the Tamron 28-75. Okay Panda, I know I'm holding it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just hand holding my iPhone, sorry about that. Uh, on the 35 I've got the 2.8. Hi guys, how are you going? Thanks Oreo. Uh, and then on the A7 III, I've got the wide at the moment, just the 10 to 18. So that's what I'm going to start out with. Um, gear I'm using in my bag, I'm trying to take as little as possible today. Um, so let me just drag this over so it's not in the sun. So I'm going to try to take... Uh, I'm taking the B10, obviously. I have got another B1 in my car, just in case if I really need to overpower the sun. I've got another... Uh, big flash there and also I can do some backlighting as well. Um, lenses, I've got the 16 to 35 in there in case if I need to go white. Um, in here, I'm also bringing the uh, E-mount, the uh, 24 1.8, so I can stick that onto my uh, A6400 in case if I want to use it. I've got the 70 to 200 F4. I've got the Zeiss Badass 85. And here, I've obviously always carried my 55 1.8. Um, and then I've got the little macro that I love, which is the 35, oh, the 30 mil 3.5 as well. Uh, always carry a rocket blower in case if I need to clean uh, out as well. Little things in here, I just use this uh, little Elder Chrome rig to mount my macro on. Yeah, it's a 30 mil macro panda. Um, so I use that in case if I want to mount the camera and it'll stand up on its own. And the macro will uh, sit on that with the camera. That's always really good. I've got some ND filters in here if I need it. I got this yesterday. It's a new spare battery for the Profoto B10, so that's fantastic now because I use continuous light um, an awful lot. Um, got stacks of batteries inside here. I always carry two. I'm going to move this out of the way of the sun because it's very hot. Always carry a couple of the remote controls for the Sony. Um, just in case, I always like backups. So that's the air remote control for the B10. Uh, <laughs> I laughed, Trevor said that 55 looks like it's got 20 years of use on it. Do you know what, Trev? There's one good thing about that, that, and this is what makes me laugh sometimes about people saying they only ever look at, at lenses that are really in good condition, but that often means they haven't been used fully. Um, I like to really use my lenses and I'm very, very quick. Like you see, there's no lens caps in there or anything. But you know what? This lens still works as good as the day I bought it. It just has some exterior uh, scratches and things like that. But sometimes you're better off to use lenses like that because you know that they're actually good. Uh, that's my spare Sony remote there as well. Um, always carry spare cameras, uh, spare backup flashes, things like that. Um, I've got my little pen for cleaning the lens there. In the car, I'm carrying my Sony flashes. Um, as well. Kerry, can you just open up the car boot because I'll just show that for a second. Um, and I've obviously got enough batteries to last for me for the day. I mean, I do have five of the Z batteries, not that I ever use that many. Um, hey, <laughs> Panda says, if you're serious about photography, uh, get the 400 2.8. That B10 is really tiny. I know, how small is it, Trev? It, it, that's what I love about that so much. You know, it really is tiny. It's like a lens, really. Um, that's what I adore so much about it. I've got two ice lights that are in the front here. I'll just grab this. Sorry about the shaky video, guys, but um, I'm just doing this. So there's two ice lights here. So I'm ready to go with those. Uh, Jimmy says whispers to Kerry. Hi. <laughs> Kerry said hi. Um, this is a think tank bag that I'm going to be using um, today. This is a reflector. That's the Magnum reflector, which I love. I'll just grab this out and show you that. So this is the Magnum, and I adore that lens. It gives you about an extra two stops of light. So 
Uh, it's fantastic. And the only other things I've brought, I don't know whether I will use them or not, but I have got in here, um, that's the B1 uh, that I can use as well if I need to use that. I'm carrying in here, just in case if I need them, I've got uh, some flashes in case if I use those. I don't, I re very rarely use them now because I'm nearly always using my B10. Um, but I've got them just in case if I do want to use them. Obviously, the uh, lighting gear in here too is, um, I can use, I'm using Fodix um, receivers and transmitters as well. How many uh, more stops is it? Well, Trev, the, the, it's probably about two stops with a B1, but I've found it's sometimes it's a lot closer than what you think, particularly if you put that uh, reflector on there. Uh, it basically becomes a 1,000-watt strobe because that really does use some voodoo science on that. But, but the B1 is definitely brighter, but it doesn't have the continuous lighting part to it. You know, that's the thing. I've got this... Uh, this is the Magnum or the wide zoom reflector for the Pro Photo. In case if I really want to overpower the sun, I can use this big beast. Um, love that as well. Um, Panda says he's going to be here. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Obviously got my hat. And the belt that I will probably wear is this one. So I like these. Uh, this is a double belt. Kerry, can you just hold, come and hold this for me? I'll just show them how I put it on. So I'll show you how I put this belt on. See if I can work this out. Just step back a little bit. See, I'll move around this way. Yeah. It's a bit dark. So, hopefully it's right. So it looks like that and then I can obviously attach the front belt part in. Now on the sides, these connect to your cameras. So they will connect to the camera, so I can have one camera on this side, I can also have one camera on this side. And the good part with this is the strap over here, if you don't have that, I'm tending always for this belt to fall down and it starts to come off and I'm always finding it. So this way, the belt can hold it all in place. Um, so you'll sort of see how it fits yeah, it's in. on a bit crooked at the moment yeah, but it's a bit crooked because i haven't got it on properly um, but really comfortable like really comfortable to use uh love it uh, and these things lock in they have a lock on the side that i can take it out just flop it in and then you can lock it down so it won't come out uh, as well so you know fantastic <laughs> so that's sort of, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. These cases, honestly, I've, I think they're probably five years old and they never, ever let me down. They're just brilliant. Uh, really love them to death. I always carry cards uh, in the front pocket there because people are always asking to give you cards and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there you go. Just thought I'd um, give you a really quick rundown of my gear, guys. And uh, Aaron says he has that belt. I just have that same belt. Yeah, the belt's really good, Aaron, but I find sometimes the belt just comes off. So this part at the top here is really good. And I think that's a think tank, Kerry, isn't it? Does that say think tank on there? I think it's a think tank. Yep. Yeah, just show that. Just. I think it's, I th I think it's a think tank. So if you look there. Yep, move your hand. Yeah. So that's not the same as the belt. I think the belt was a... I can't remember. I think it's a spider something or other. Uh, I'll Hang see on, if I'll I can find look. out if anyone's interested. Yeah, you but take that and I'll have a look. I don't know if the name's on it. I don't think it is. So. Oh, it's got to be guess on the. Yeah, the yeah, it's got to be guess. So this is it. So, yeah, we're staying at my daughter's little holiday caravan park uh, overnight here in Echuca because it's nice and easy for us then just to go to the wedding venue. Um, so we're looking forward to that. It's already really hot. Um, your wife is very clever now that you've been on video with her. She can kill you without suspicion. <laughs> yeah, spider holster. Yeah, that's what it is. Spider, Aaron. Thanks for that. Um, so there you go, guys. So uh, the other things I always carry are things like filters in here, 
for flashes if I need them, but I don't need to do that now that I'm using the B10 because the B10 has continuous lighting on it and you can match that with colour. I, do, I tend to not use the flash now much with these gels at all. Um, I'm just tending to just use that and um, I'll use that even for the uh, around the reception and just use continuous light to light everyone up rather than using flash and it works very well, particularly now that I've got the um, extra pro photo battery. Like I said, I've got NDs in here. I'm carrying around these in case if I want to do a video um, sometime here, a little review or something like that. I never know if I want to do one. Uh, apart from that, that's it. Oh, and I've got the little pocket camera. Uh, I noticed camera conspiracies <laughs> had a go at me in the latest video about buying that and not using it yet. I laughed. Um, apart from that, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, great weather. Enjoy your job. Uh, four bodies. You're the... A tentacle man. No, I'm not going to use all those. Kerry's here as my assistant today, so she'll be having um, two of those cameras and I'll be having two as well. Um, I think I'm going to do something different for the um, actual uh, group photo today, though. I'm going to use this. So I think I'm going to use this road, uh, and it's got the screw on the top there. Now this goes incredibly high. It's an actual mic, boom mic, I think. For but I'm going to use this attached to my A7R2. Now my feeling is that I'm always struggling to get enough height. Also because I'm short, but I'm always struggling to get enough height. Um, sorry about showing your legs there, Kerry. Um, <laughs> but I, I think I've just done a test, and I'm going to use the A7R2 just for the group shots on the end of that pole mounted up high and then I'm going to use the Play Memories camera app to uh, take the photos because you can do continuous shutter uh, fast and then I can also focus using that one because with Play Memories app uh, for the A7R2, you can focus with the app on remote control. So um, I think that's what I'll be doing uh, for that. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's what I'll do. Now, just in case if anything goes wrong, remember that is only a one card slot camera, so I probably will also take one quick one just in case with the A7 III. But uh, I will do uh, the multiple shots of the big group shot on the end of that pole, extend it right up, look through the camera, which will be a great way of viewing it, and then I can take the shot uh, using that. Uh, which will be fantastic. Um, when I'm doing the wedding itself, I'm going to try this today. So I am going to try using the A7R, uh, sorry, the A6500, wherever it is, yeah, here. Uh, I will try that for a few shots just so I can show you guys how it performs. Um, but like I said, uh, at the same time, I will be taking shots with the other camera just in case if something happens. Um, what camera bag are you using? I'm using the... Um, this one, which is the Think Tank. So it's the airport security. So that's the actual uh, camera bag that I'm using. I adore these. I've got four of these cases, so I've got a hell of a lot of them because sometimes I'm lugging around multiple flashes and other things uh, as well. Uh, fantastic camera bag. It's got the security locks on it on the side. I'll show you there. Uh, great rollers, never let me down those rollers. The zips are almost indestructible. Uh, fantastic bag, the best bags I've ever used, and I'm not sponsored by them. I bought them all out of my own money. The only other thing that I've got in there is uh, obviously a umbrella in case if I want to use that. Um, and then I've got just this small light stand in case if I want to put a camera, a, a, another flash onto that. Um, and that's about it. Uh, Thought I'd give you a quick update, guys. Um, uh, can't talk much more now because I've got to go and get ready because we'll be leaving soon uh, to do the bride, uh, the uh, groom prep. Um, so that's all for now. Any questions, leave them down below. I'll check later on. Uh, apart from that, guys, I'll see you all soon uh, in the next video. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Kerry. Bye. <laughs> Kerry's relaxing. <laughs> she's, she's chilled. See you, bye. See you, everyone. Bye.